All right, so next in my list of platformers, I want to try Halloween Harry. This is uh, another game I used to play a lot back in the day. Published by the great old gaming company Apogee Entertainment before they became 3D Realms. All right, let's try it. I like how the, the menu screen is like a little PDA type of thing. Office block is the first shareware game episode. So let's load this one. All right. Quick switch, flamethrower, missiles. All right. So you can kill guys using a flamethrower, but the problem is that within a few seconds they actually revive, so you can't actually kill them uh, for sure unless you use another weapon, I think. But your mission is to save all these uh, captured women from the aliens. And these are all zombies here, you know. And your flamethrower has limited ammo, so you have to find different ammo too. At least she falls in love with me after I rescue her. It's typical. Uh, let's see. See, they come back to life, which is really annoying. I think you'd be able to go through that. I can't. There's a switch. Okay. There we go. So I'm activate that switch. What's funny about this game is that um, some of the power ups are like old floppy disks and stuff. So it's pretty funny. It kind of parodies the uh, 90s. The little floppy disks in here. In here. You can even find like a little vending machines. I can buy more flamethrower flamethrower fuel from these vending machines, which is a nice touch. Oh man. Ooh, I can buy POW. This is another weapon I can use, POW. And, yeah, it makes sense all the guys drop uh, coins after they die. Or rather, are um, shot by you. Terminal activated. Another woman to save. They all look the same, by the way. I need more credits. Thank you, woman, for telling me that. Looks like Gatorade. Halloween Harry has jetpack. That seems to have infinite fuel. But his flamethrower does not have infinite fuel. So if those guys die, they don't respond. It's just the zombies that respond. Okay, I knew it. There's something under here. Ooh. They're just walking around. Okay. We got some micro nukes, which might be good. Oh. 
Okay, that's the micro nuke. Kills everything in there. Oh, I can't buy more flamethrower. No more of those. See, he's back. Right after I killed him. Darn it. That's ozone or something? O. Uh, I see what happens. Okay. So if you don't have enough flamethrower, which actually uses your jetpack fuel as well, your jetpack does have fuel. It uses your flamethrower fuel, but uh, it just won't fly as far if you don't have it. Well, that's no. Missile. Oh, they're back already. Doesn't even give me a coin. Okay, I need more flamethrower fuel. That's Omega, that's not flamethrower fuel. Okay, well at least I know what Omega does now. <laughs> it blows up everything on the screen. Alright, there we go. Now I have more jetpack fuel so I can fly farther. So annoying that these things don't die. So annoying. I mean, I know they're aliens, but how do they get to be zombies? Aliens and zombies are different things. Oh man, so annoying, you can fly through walls. Another switch. They really love switches in this game. I'm pressing up. Oh, I have to rescue more people. Oh, who else? Yeah, anyways, that is Halloween Harry. I didn't play too much of it, but you guys get the point. Um, it's a pretty unique platforming game in that, well, the weapons are really nice and the platforming elements are cool, but you start out with a jetpack, which uses the same fuel as your regular weapon, and you buy stuff by finding vending machines and go to save terminals and stuff, so it's kind of, kind of unique in that sense. And you have to rescue people, which is, which reminds me of Monster Bash, actually, another platformer, which I reviewed. And, yeah, it's just uh, unique that way. I think it's a pretty good game. It's another uh, Aperture game for you guys. Halloween Harry, also known as Alien Carnage. So if you find, um, the if you go to the Aperture throwback pack, they will have this game in it. We'll give it a try.